I'm excited to crack on with this. It's one of my favourite levels coming up. We are hitting the Clockwork Mansion. It's a cracking level, some fantastic level design. I'm buzzed. Let's go. Just before we jump right into it, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's followed recently. Um, I really appreciate support, um, as always. And um, yeah, you know, thanks. <laughs> um, Hopefully, as you'll notice, uh, there will be some messages popping up throughout the throughout the uh, chat. Um, they'll just be giving you little notices about uh, links and various bits and pieces. So feel free to click on them. Feel free to explore. And yeah, I've also just quick notice. I've also got a new Discord server set up. So if any of you guys have any questions about that, please do give me a bell uh, on on my Twitter or on here or whatever. Just let me know, and I'll help you out there. Let's crack it on. Hi. You look fun. I'm not going to annoy you. When this plays, check central rotor. Okay. I expected the courtesy of seeing you by this point. Yeah, sorry. So, we're, we're going to go and see uh, Mr. Kirin in Doge. Remove this playback after the final field test. Keep our eyes peeled for any sort of collectibles or uh I can steal. So so, that's it, you're almost there. Come uh, into the gallery so I can see you. <laughs> okay, the machine has detected something. And no. last come closer. One thousand. Hello, hello. There you are. Hello. Magnificent. Hello. Hello, Mr. Jindosh. Now that I see you, I've worked out who you are. Not a hired cutthroat, your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You, you train came with weapons formed with the most sound pencil that could back, back out. Your All that, and you have your father's eyes. Your Imperial Majesty. Welcome, Lady Emily Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume, I'd assume my, my involvement with you brought work. you to my daughter. Or maybe you're after washed up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Well, isn't he just a delightful chap? Clockwork soldiers, there's an interloper in my home. No, no, what? Wait. For you to stand as an that alive yeah after that baptism of fire here we are <laughs> I was just I was just about to um sh just, I was just trying to get my make sure my stream was all shared everywhere and all that happened all at once I know it's definitely not ready um, anyways we are in the clockwork mansion basically this is one big puzzle of stuff and it is possible to get lost I, f I feel like uh, I'm I'm pretty good at navigating my way 
um, around this place right now. But I can't make any promises. It could be slow going. It might, it might, it might be, uh, it might be quick. I can't make any promises. It may take two episodes. I can't remember how long it took me last time. We'll just have to see. Um. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, just sharing my stream a few seconds. I should be a bit more organised than this. There we go. Right. We are in and ready to groove. Alon Z. Alon Z. Right. What we got? Nothing there. Oh, that looks like a uh, stun mine! Always love a stun mine. Always love a stun mine. Uh, yep. Yepers, yepers, yepers. Nice mechanics. That looks like a rewire tool. Yep, a <laughs> rewire tool. Uh, in these cases are some interesting pieces of history. I believe somewhere there's one. So that is one of the. <laughs> Jeff K twenty. If you uh, look at your look at your chat, there should be three little buttons in the top right uh, where you can see your uh, we, we can see your sound sound emoticons, various other bits and pieces. If you wish to do those, um, this this sort of face here is one of the original faces of the Clockwork Soldiers. There it is. Thank you. Yeah, as I was saying, that was that's one of the original faces of the Clockwork Soldiers uh, from when they did the um, sort of release trailers and stuff. And there we go. Map of the Jindosh Manor. An oversimplification, I assure you. Double check around here for any loot. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Another trick line. That's a wall of light. The original Sokolov version is inelegant but effective. This one is affected by yours truly. Wonderful. It's, it's essentially the same machine as it was before, just it looks a bit fancier. <laughs> it might kill me a bit faster as well, you never know. I guess I'm gonna pull this. In part, I made this place for luxury and spectacle, I suppose, but it's more than that. This place is a testament to engineering itself. When he's so back, he is not kidding. Let me tell you. So you can not only read and figure the rooms. You can not only read and figure the rooms. Check central rotor. And change where you are. You can also go inside the rooms, and I will show you at some point what that means. Yeah. Not what I wanted. People are prepared. Right. Get it. Definitely. Get here, let's go. Alright. Deep, deep, deep. Three, deep, three. Hello? Can we come this way? No. 85. Oh, my nice. friend. Oh, it. If I take out the visual. The machine has lost its core. Restrained. Mr. Jindosh, how rude. Uh, apologies, ladies and gents. I just have a 
Discord message. But hey, everything is up and running as it should be, which is wonderful. What we like, it's what we like, what we like. Right, onwards. Um, so, ordinarily, we would just blast through the doors. But me, I'm gonna go through all the back passages first. I think. Oh, yes, what am I gonna get? I don't remember if I've ever just changed the front front like this. Hey, that's quite nice. It's a fancy piece of artwork. This worthwhile? Ah, this is a. I think that's one of the bodies from the original Clockwork Soldiers. Uh, from when they did the uh, launch trailer. Oh, oh, ah, and this. The space behind the walls. As Emily so aptly said, the space behind the walls. So I can get back out of here again. Don't, don't stress. Uh, this is where all the excitement go. Get up there. I might actually be able to get up in there. I have to reconfigure. Okay. Oh, so we've already got to pull the lever. Reality. Only I know where I am. Okay. There's nothing down there apart from a button. That button's like a like a safety button, just in case you get stuck. Um, and yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. I'm just gonna do this. This. Whoop. And if I imagine the case of the machine is. Waking up. Entering combat states. Lost enemy. Hopefully, kill each other. Playback for unambiguous enemies. <laughs> Quiet oh, lost. <laughs> the machine is over. So, as you can see, the clockworks are actually fairly easy to deal with. You just have to be sort of speedy. And, uh, yeah. Try and keep way, way, way away from their reach because they have got some nasty bites. Um, next. I call... oh, I've actually got anything down here that I need. Ah. Where all the magic disappears, as you can see, you can see all the mechanics. Either. Right in there. That's this is where I'd be if I came through those doors. Uh, the doors that I was talking about going through. And there's people in there, so I don't really want to deal with that straight away. What I do want to deal with is this way. Be checking. This room right in front of me is clear. Really this one? I think that one's clear. But there are guards in the big room just beyond it, so I won't go in there just yet. I will continue around. If you're there, I have to warn you that area is not safe. Says not stand clear! I'm bringing up the arc pylon! Ah, there's another important. A piece of history just here. So, art pylons actually came around in the first game, as well as walls of lines. 
that again, Kieran Jindosh has taken it, redesigned it, supposedly improved it. There it is, in all its glory. And then you didn't see it, it just zapped the hell out of some of the rats. Welcome to all who are just joining. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Let me know in the chat how well you, how how good a day you've had. And if you've been up to anything exciting. Day. Someone sure there! Today. Cool. today I've alerted some <sighs> I need to go. You think at ah. these prices, the man wouldn't keep us waiting? There's only one Kirin Jindosh. He can charge whatever he likes. Besides, you're rich enough to afford a couple of the clockworks. I happen to know you've doubled your fortune since the Duke took over the silver mines. Lower wages means higher profits. But it's my time that's precious. I'm not used to waiting. Neither am I. When was the last time someone had me waiting for more than an hour? I can't remember. It's almost titillating. How many clockworks did you say there were? It's a numbered set, if I recall. It is indeed, but 36, 46? <laughs> Very exclusive, whatever the count. Everyone at the Garden Club will be green with envy. Well, there you go. It sounds as if you're hurt. No royal protector around this time, dear Emily. There he goes again. Who do you suppose he's talking to? It's cold, it's merciless outside the walls. If there is a break in, Hello? I hope the clockworks deal with it quickly. I'm tired of waiting for Jindosh. Oh, there's actually another. Oh, hello. There's a coin right here. <laughs> I almost walked right past that. There is a room there. But well, I guess I have to do some rearranging to get into that room. At least that's my assumption. So I might do the leave of clicking in a second. I'm gonna drop down here. Make a rock my boy for all I care. I've got enough to worry about oh, because they're constant complaining. Oh. Okay, so this is the above me is the room where rich people are. I really hope you don't fall and die out there. It might be hard to clean up. The smell, you see. My man, how's it going? Oh. Reese, how are you these days? <laughs> uh, to whoever might find this. Ah, oh, it's Aiden! Ah, I was never quite sure. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you're good, man. It's good to it's good to hear from you, mate. Definitely play Dishonored. Oh, that makes sense. Got you, got you, got you. But yeah, I will 100% recommend Dishonored. It's obviously start with the first one if you can, if you can, um, and then you know second one, and then there is the Death of the Outsider actually, which I haven't played yet. But this is this is a top class game in my opinion. Love this game to bits. Uh, last words. To whoever might find this, are you trapped? I know only too well your situation. You see, these are my last words. I have found a spot away from the clutches of these things. But for what? I have no food, no water, and now I grow weak. There was a chance of us if there was a chance of escape, then I have missed it. Even writing this note saps any strength I had left. I thought I could beat this contraption, this terrible house, this thing that Jindosh has built, but it has beaten me. If only I had the thought to bring water, or a morsel of bread. So I say goodbye to you, my reckless friend. Perhaps you too will die here. I'm sorry for that. If if I become a ghost, then I will try to help you. Otherwise, fare thee well. Dane Danislaw, shepherd, juggler, magician, thief, braggart, and surely a fool. Jordan! He's too big to have the name Barrett. <laughs> oh, too big for his boots, eh, is it? Hello? Anybody? Don't make me search the whole plate. Good, my boy, how are you? My arc pylon. How resourceful. I found the secret. I have also found a bone chart, I should probably see what that is. 
Boon Charm. Boon Charms! Flash Assistant. I'll take that. Take that. How many... Sorry, quickly review how many Bone Charms I've got to choose that twice. Uh, Flash Assistant. Fortune craftsmanship. Have I got any traits to spend? I have no traits. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How's my how's my crew? What's going on, boys? Let me know. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. What well, might you actually? How did you manage to get into the workings of my quite like a rat gnawing at the wires? Well, I'm just a genius. Never complete the second one. As I as I said to Aiden, man, definitely worth playing. If you ever if you ever are just bored and want to play a game, I would highly recommend playing this one. I somehow need to get down there without them both seeing me. Oh. Maybe if I no. we're gonna try and rock some plays here. Hopefully, I don't die. That didn't quite get as planned, I'm afraid. Uh, hey, hey. Can't have everything. Okay, well I've dealt I've dealt with one. Uh, uh, that means actually if I can out of the way, it's fine. And there. Uh, I'm hopefully sure it died anyway. Uh, for those of you who are joining, I am trying to do this without killing anyone. That's the main aim here. And down the road goes. Okay, so the room's gone down, but I... Can I access it? I guess I can get to it. Ah, whoa! I thought I was doing a bad and then... Okay, so I can sort... I can get to it. It's not from here. Which is fine. Oh. Wait... Bruh... Okay. Money, got a book. My... My voice is quiet. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, let's just adjust, adjust, and adjust, and adjust. Uh, drop. Drop that one. Put me all the way up, so I'm peaking. <laughs> right. We're back. Is, is that a bit better? Am I a bit clearer? Hopefully the game is just a nice, gentle, gentle pace there. So much better. Fantastic. Good to know. Good to know. Thank you for having my back. Um, right, where are we? The Astounding Soldiers. Start playing the game first. Uh, you know, small details, man. Small details. Uh, precise history by the creator himself, Kieran Jindosh, Grand Sakonin Inventor. Chapter 23. Dear readers, you will be fascinated to know that earlier models of my clockwork soldiers had human-like faces. Ah, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. Allow me to explain. As you know from chapters 18 through 22, I had been testing the clockwork soldiers against a wide range of enemies. Early in this process, a problem emerged. The would-be thieves and assailants were not intimidated by the the delicate ceramic faces of the earlier prototypes. One criminal even believed he recognised an uncle and attempted conversation. Brilliant. Undeterred, I set about redesigning the head mechanism, encasing it with a terrifying visage. I knew I had found the right design when my first test subjects fell to their knees in fear. Well, there you go. Basically, those of you who might have seen the uh, might have seen the launch trailer. Um, uh, in the launch trailer, they were the Clockwork Soldiers were very humanoid, and they looked very different to what they do now. They're, they're much more sleek and wooden now, as you would have seen. 
uh, conservatory closure extended, a representative from the Royal Conservatory confirmed today that the site's closure has been extended once again, with no promise of when it might reopen. Curator Brianna Ashworth could not be reached for comment. Readers will remember that an infestation of mites in the Roseboro exhibit forced the closure nearly six months ago, though there have been rumours that no exterminators have been hired. The Rose Roseboro exhibit was a prestigious event sponsored by the Academy of Natural Philosophy with hopes of attracting numerous experts and guest lecturers from across the aisles. This important exhibition is now on hold indefinitely due to extended closure. For hopeful visitors there is nothing to do but wait for further word. Fantastic. Fantastic. Give me the money. Right. Uh, Be careful. This was devised to test the limits of the clockwork soldiers. Quite oh. Oh. Sokolov, that old nag is around here somewhere. There's a guard there. Uh, can I take him out without killing him? One of these days? Uh, yes. Probably not. Let's... Can I... Can I far reach... Can I far reach up there? Can I squeeze up there? Where are they going? Oh, they're coming this way. Do you what? I'll go up there. How rude! Oh, I've seen you rude. Oh, hi. Show yourself. No, I'm not here. Uh, I am, in fact, up there. Can okay, you come in? Someone is asking for trouble over there. Yeah, I'm just baiting you, mate. I don't like that. Come on, take the bait. Better have a look. Take the bait. Take the bait. Take the bait. Uh, that's enough. Okay, cool. Right. Bait taken. Body down. Uh, let's put this body... Uh, you, you know what, you can just chill there. I'm not too worried about that. Cool. Uh, looted that. Let's get my dark vision. Ooh, lots of glasses. What we got? Cider. Love a bit of cider. Nice fig wine. Anyone up for some fig wine? A bit of fig wine. Hey, coins. Uh, stuff. So, what's that? Oh, so that goes to the laboratory. That's where Jindosh is, I guess. I guess. I guess that's where he's sitting. I think, if I remember. Oracular ordered representative from the Sisters of the Oracular Order in Sokonos paid a surprise visit this week to the officials of the Grand Palace, delivering a message that calls into doubt position on the illegitimacy of our new Empress Delilah Colwyn. It seems that there is an intense disagreement between the sects of the secretive organisation. While not a full reversal, the visit to the Grand Palace prompted movement from Duke Luca Abel. It pleases me that the Sisters of the our beloved Empress Delilah Colwyn. Her recent and valiant coup is an attempt at restoring just rule to the Empire, and I advise the Oracular Order and the ever stubborn Abbey of the em Everyman to immediately embrace Delilah as Empress. Accepting her wisdom and delivering this vision, and we call for a day of celebration. Meanwhile, Vice Overlius. English. Vice Overseer Liam Byrne, speaking on behalf of the Abbey of the Everyman, advises restraint, saying that the latest massives of the Oracular Order are interpreted and debated. Get a face. I, I do apologise. Second screen. Has. Oh, excuse me. 